Hi, it's Tim from Oracle Base. Dot com. In this video, we'll give a demonstration of real time statistics in Oracle Database 19C. In a previous video, we demonstrated online statistics gathering for bulk loads, which allowed some direct path loads to gather statistics as part of the load operation. Real time statistics takes this further, allowing stats to be gathered as part of some conventional path operations. This feature is only available on engineered systems such as Exadata and Exadata Cloud Service. We connect to a privileged user and create a test user called Test User 1. We grant it the Create Session and Create Table privileges. We also need a few extra grants just for our testing. These aren't necessary for the feature to work, but it makes the tests easier. We connect to the test user which is where we'll run all our tests. We create a simple table called tab1. We create a procedure called reset tab1. It truncates the table, inserts a thousand rows, which will have some stats because of online stats gathering for bulk loads, but we'll also gather complete stats for the table. We'll call this procedure before each test to give us a clean starting point. We call the reset tab 1 procedure to set up our test data. The num rows column in the user tables view shows us we have a thousand rows in the table. The num rows column in the user tab statistics view also says there are a thousand rows. Checking the low and high values of the ID column in the user tab call statistics view shows us the values 1 to 1000 with a sample size of 1000 rows. There are lots of other stats to consider, but we'll just keep it simple. Remember, this is how the stats will look at the start of each test. For our first test, we reset the test data, then do a conventional path insert of 1000 rows. We check the execution plan of the statement using the dbmsx plan display cursor table function and we see an optimizer statistics gathering operation in the plan. It can take some time for the monitoring information to be visible in the diction reviews, but we can force this by using the flush database monitoring info procedure in the DBMS stats package. We'll include this call after each test. The num rows column in the user tables view still says we have a thousand rows in the table. We will see that real-time stats never amend this value. An extra row has been added to the user tab statistics view, with the notes column set to stats on conventional DML. The num rows column of this new row contains the estimate of the rows in the table after the operation is complete. We had a thousand rows in the table before we started. We added a thousand rows, so the total is two thousand rows. An extra row has been added to the user tab call statistics view with the notes column set to stats on conventional DML. We see a small sample of rows which has allowed it to estimate the low value and high value of the ID column. It's a sample so it's not going to be perfect but it's a lot better than the original stats. We run a simple query against the tab 1 table. Checking the execution plan, we see the estimated number of rows for the full table scan is 2000, so the optimizer has used the real-time stats to get better information about the contents of the table. The note at the bottom tells us that stats for conventional DML were used for this execution plan. We reset the test table and do a direct path insert of 1000 rows. Notice the addition of the append hint and we flush the monitoring information to the dictionary. There are no changes to the user tables view, the user tab statistics view, or the user tab call statistics view. Real-time stats are not triggered for direct path operations. Remember, if we had performed this operation against a truncated table, stats would have been gathered by online stats gathering for bulk loads in the normal way. In this test, we run a single row conventional path insert. There are no changes to the user tables view, 
the user tab statistics view or the user tab call statistics view. I've repeated this test many times and I've only seen one occasion where a single row insert has triggered real time stats. In this test we run a single row conventional path insert a thousand times in a loop. There's a single commit after the last insert. There are no changes to the user tables view. We see the real time stats row in the user tab statistics view and the user tab call statistics view. This test is similar to the previous one except we commit after each single row insert. There are no changes to the user tables view. We see the real time stats row in the user tab statistics view and the user tab call statistics view. In this test we update all the rows in the tab 1 table adding 10,000 to the ID value. The number of rows is not affected by this operation so the user tables and the user tab statistics views are not so relevant. We see the real time stats row in the user tab call statistics view. There is a new estimate for the high value but the low value is unchanged. In this test we delete all the rows from the tab 1 table. There are no changes to the user tables view, the user tab statistics view or the user tab call statistics view. I've repeated this many times and I've never seen a delete operation trigger real time statistics but maybe that's just my testing. In this test we do a bulk bind of a thousand rows into the tab 1 table. There are no changes to the user tables view. We see the real time stats row in the user tab statistics view and in the user tab call statistics view. We gather fresh stats for the tab 1 table. The user tables view now has the correct value. The user tab statistics values are updated and the real time stats are removed. The user tab call statistics values are updated and the real time stats removed. Real time stats work in a similar way for partition tables but we only ever see extra rows in the global statistics, never at partition level. Similar to online stats gathering for bulk loads, we can use the no gather optimizer statistics hint to prevent real time stats from being triggered. You can see examples of these in the linked article as well as information about hidden parameters and transfer of real time stats. The combination of online stats gathering for bulk loads and real time stats fill most of the gaps in stats gathering while you're waiting for the daily maintenance jobs to run. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.